Welcome to this video of creating dashboards by Bharti DW Consultancy. In the previous video, we saw how to create the first section of this report CF01. We were able to create six sections in a table and we were able to down, uh, put down some charts. When we looked at the output of the report, it was quite big and it needed some scroll. In this section, we are going to see how to make this dashboard much more interesting and catchy. We are going to add some interactive uh, features also. So first of all, let's make this or resize this dashboard because it looks too heavy. So going back to Report Studio. click on the first chart and let's scroll down on the properties in the size and overflow section under positioning make width as 3 inches and height 3 inches Yeah. Next, make this chart height 3 inches to 3 inches. We have to do this for all the charts, only the charts, not the cross tab in this report. So let's do one by one. So 3 by 3, 3 into 3 inches and let's do the cross tab but from the cross tab area do not select the cross tab, select the table itself. So table cell I'm going to make it as 3 inches by 3 inches. This is just to make sure that the chart looks good. So, or the dashboard looks good. So, I run this dashboard again. So, this looks better. Uh, yep, much better than the previous one. But it still needed a scroll down. But that's fine because this is in a smaller screen if we expand the screen it's gonna look all right so let's expand this and you can see that it it looks pretty fine right next is we are gonna put some borders around it so go back to this and select all the table cells so select the first table cell Make sure that here in the properties you see table cell, select the next table cell and so on and so forth. If the table cell on the left hand side properties disappears that means your selection has some problems. Next we are going to put some borders around it. So in the section properties section box under the borders I'm gonna put solid line one point black and I'm going to align it so with all the selections in place I'm gonna click this button top and everything is gonna move to the top save it and now run the report you would see a bit more cleaner dashboard because now we have borders this looks pretty good all right so in the next video we're going to talk about how to add prompt pages and how to make this screen or dashboard more dynamic thank you